Hey guys, how's it going today? I wanted to record a quick video. Uh, I've been a little behind. I haven't put any out in a while. Um, but as we've been reading through our Bible, there was a passage of scripture that kind of jumped out at me and got my attention. And it was from 2 Kings chapter 3, verse 25. And um, this is the Israelite army and, the, and Judah's army went up against the Moabites. And it says they destroyed the towns, covered the good land with stones, stopped up all the springs, and cut down all the good trees. Finally, only Kerhasheth and its stone walls were left, but men with slings surrounded and attacked it. The part that got my attention here was, as this act of war, what they did was, they took the stone walls and they destroyed them and they threw them out on the good lands, on the pasture lands that would be the land of growth. And they destroyed them. So they took this hard work where these stones had been placed as walls and they destroyed the land so it couldn't be uh, productive. Now, this was just amazing to me. You know, I, I never really picked up on this verse in the past. And I started to think about that. You know, um, when we drive around in New England, man, we see stone walls all the time. You, you know what? They're not there because somebody wanted to build a beautiful wall. Nowadays, people will pay thousands and thousands of dollars to take these old stone walls and rebuild them in a place that they want them to because they want them to look perfect and beautiful. Um, but that's not why they built them originally. It was out of necessity because where they wanted to grow things, there were rocks in the way. And so that problem became their provision and they moved them over here and built fences that would contain their animals and would line their properties. And so today, as I just look at this, I'm probably going to talk a lot more about this on Sunday. Just I wonder what problems are in your life. What rocks are in your field? Man, you could get mad at them or you could move them. And when you move them properly, they become your provision. They become these beautiful walls that, that frame out your life, that keep your fields protected from the outside, keep your animals inside. You know, stone walls are amazing. They have so many features. And so anyhow, I'll probably talk about this more, but today I just want to encourage you, hey, what stones are in the way of your harvest? What stones are in the way of your productivity, of you doing something great for God? Man, it's time to move them, pick them up, get them out of the way, start plowing that ground um, so that, man, you're in this place where God can really use you. Hey, God bless you guys, and thanks for listening.